Hi, and welcome to Technology Tidbits. Today we're going to cover how to use and access ebooks from gofollet.com. That's G O F O L L E T T.com. First thing you'll need to do is enter the name of your school. Go ahead and select it and hit go. Once in, you're going to notice that you are browsing as a guest. And that's pretty much all you can do is just browse the information and the materials that we have available. So you're going to want to go ahead and log in. Your username and password are the same as your Google account, except for on the username, you do not need to include the at Beaumont USD .k12 .ca .us. Um, However, on the password, you do need to make sure that you include the hashtag capital P. Once in, you're going to make sure that your name appears under the welcome sign. If it does not, you need to see your librarian as soon as possible so that we can correct that issue. All right, so today we are going to go ahead and search by keyword, although there are other options such as title, author, subject. Um, here are our results. You'll see we have books. These are the actual books that are physically in the library. We also have ebooks, which we're going to be covering today, as well as websites. So let's go into ebooks. And today we're going to use the Red Pyramid as our example. So I'm going to select Open. Now right now I've opened the book and it will allow me to do some of the features that we're going to talk about. However, it's important for me to realize that until the book is checked out, it means it's still available to other users. So if somebody came into the computer system right now at the same time I'm using the book and checked it out, I'm not going to be able to check that book out anymore. So as soon as you realize that this is something um, that you're going to want to go ahead and check out, you're going to want to click on the information tab, which is the circle with the eye and you're going to select check out. It will give you the due date. Now that's an important date for you to note because whether you're finished or not with that book, it's going to check it back in to the system on that date. Okay, after, if you still need that book, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you come back and check it back out again. As you read through the text, if you would like to go ahead and highlight and make notes, you can simply hold the left button down on your mouse until you receive these blue brackets, and then you can just drag it across um, until you cover the entire area in which you'd like to highlight. You can choose the color in which you'd like to make those highlights. We're going to go ahead and choose yellow, and I can also add a note by simply clicking on the folder with a plus sign. Then my notebook will appear, and I can give my note a title, main character is Carter Kane. Okay, you can see that it also indicates the color in which I've highlighted it. Now I can save that note. It will appear this way. It will also tell you the date as well as the page number. If I'd like to go ahead and add that he is 14, I can simply go ahead and hold that mouse down again, highlight it in yellow, 14, and again, it's gonna have that yellow. Okay, so then I can go ahead and close my notes by simply clicking that little left arrow. Another cool thing that we're able to do is to look up words. And you can do that by going ahead and left clicking and again highlighting that word and clicking the A to Z button. Right there. And then the Marianne Webster's Dictionary will go ahead and pull up that definition for you. You can close it out and close that out. And you're ready to continue to read. You may also find that you need to maybe perhaps find the setting, and so you need to do a search. You can click on the magnifying glass on the upper right-hand corner, and you may search. I know that oftentimes we need to know the setting of a book, so I know that the setting takes place in Egypt, or the story takes place in Egypt. And so I'm just going to click on one of these results. It goes through and it highlights all of the um, places in the book that contain the word Egypt. Here's one, Aswan Egypt. Now this has to do with settings, so I'm probably going to want to do it a different color. 
Then my characters, I can again add my note, add it to settings, and go ahead again, save that note. story takes place with a couple errors. Go ahead and save that note. Okay, now once I'm on this screen, it gives me a couple of other options that you're going to want to go ahead and be aware of. I can add another note. I can also do a citation. It will give it to me in um, MLA 7 citation format. And I can also choose to print. Okay, those um, will come in very handy when you're trying to go ahead and piece all of your research and information together. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Another thing we need to do is often mark our place in a book. Obviously, you're not going to read this book in an entire um, one-time setting. So up on the left-hand corner, you see the little bookmark hanging down. You can go ahead and click the plus, and you can put down left off here as your little note and it will bookmark where you left off. A couple of things um, that you're going to also want to take advantage of from time to time is um, the display set settings. Um, you can display it by one page, two page, text only, which kind of comes out like a PDF, so it's very difficult, in my opinion, to read. Um, you can also zoom in and out. You can change the color of the background. I prefer black. I think it makes the text pop out on a page and a little easier to read. You may also have the text read to you on certain ebooks. This is not a feature that is offered on all of them, um, but quite a few of them do offer this for you. you just um, click on the speaker. One, we only have a few hours, so listen carefully. If you were here. And it will begin reading to you. And as you probably noted, it does highlight um, the words that they're reading so that you can easily follow along. Well, that concludes the main basic features that our ebooks have to offer us. So if we need to go back to the main screen, we can just click the book icon in the upper left hand corner. It will bring us back to this page here. Um, on this page, I did want to go ahead and show you, you do have the option to return it here when you're all finished with it. You can also add it to your favorites. All of these are showed in your book bag. You can also view all of the checkouts that you currently have. So you have a couple of different things um, that you're able to do in your book bag. And I'm just going to go ahead and return this book. So somebody else may check it out. Um, the last thing that I want to cover with you is, as always, please make sure that you log out. You do not want people to be able to access your account, get in there, change your notes, or worst case scenario, delete your notes. So make sure no matter what um, you are doing, make sure that you log out of all computer programs and all computers, all websites, etc. Well, that's a wrap.